guys welcome to my channel in this video we're going to do a problem in dynamics we're going to use the impulse equation it is a very common iffy question and that's why i wanted to share with you guys also at the end of this video i'm going to share with you some practice problems that you can use to study for your fe exam if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and let's get started oh yeah everybody now Okay guys, so we have a 0.05 kilogram marble attains a velocity of 54 meters per second. Uh, the marble leaves the slingshot 1 over 35 of a second after it is released. And we want to find the average force on a marble during the launch. So when you see a problem like this, when you have velocity and you have time and you see a force, the first thing you got to think of is the impulse equation. So the impulse equation is on page 79. It's really easy. The way we're going to do this, so we have m times dv is equal to f times dt, right? So when you guys see derivative of any function in the reference manual, if the problem it's not giving to you as a function, if v velocity was not giving to me as a function, I'm going to use this as m times v, which equals to f times t. So this is the same thing as this. This is only when you have velocity giving to you as a function in terms of t. That's when you can use this. But it's just giving to you as it is. You can easily rewrite this equation this way. I hope that makes sense. But anyway, so now let's solve for f. So I have f is equal to mv over t. That's it, guys. So m is equal to 0 0.05 kilograms, velocity is 54 meters per second, and then over 1 over 35 seconds. Note guys here that the units exactly add up to newtons, because I have kilograms, meters per second squared, because this is second times second, that's second squared, kilograms meters per second squared, that's the unit for newton. And so this is going to be equal to 94.5 newton, which is about... Uh, 95 so the answer is going to be c so just remember this problem guys uh, i think it does show up a lot in the fe exam i had many students who told me they had the impulse uh questions so just remember when you are asked to find the force and you are giving velocity and time just think of the impulse equation i hope this helps guys and I will see you guys on the next clip. If you guys want some practice problems, you can visit my website. Just scroll all the way to the bottom, sign up or enter your email address, and I will send them to you along with some tips on how to tackle this exam. Okay, guys, so that'll be it for today. On the next video, we're going to do following structural analysis. We're going to determine if a truss is determinate or unstable or indeterminate. So make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I release the video. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. À la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.